Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today, I definitely got to get into this Lil Baby and Lil Dirks, the voice of the sh what heroes, going number one on Billboard right after his brother's death. And some of y'all, of course, going to come here with the whole conspiracy theorist talk. That's cool. But really notice, y'all, every single time one of these guys have a relative, spouse, Somebody close friend, somebody close to them that passed away, they start doing great on Billboard. They start doing numbers. All you start seeing their streams go up. Uh, uh, uh it's it's no longer a coincidence, man. It's no longer a coincidence. Matter of fact, just like the baby. Remember the baby when he put out his first album and it went number one right after his father died. Y'all remember that? Yeah. And like I said, I'm I'm not accusing nobody. Let's just keep all this alleged. I'm not gonna accuse nobody. I just cause I like I said hey, I like bringing awareness to what's going on. And some of y'all y'all just chose not to see what's right in your face, but I'm gonna point it out. I'm gonna point it out. That's what I'm gonna do. And yo, literally this man's brother just passed away, and the next week his album goes number one. But we're gonna get into Billboard. We're gonna get into what it takes to get on Billboard, we're going to get into all that. Because it's not just him, neither. It's a lot of these artists going on Billboard out of nowhere. Mind you, Billboard is not just your regular hip-hop, R&B charts. It's not your regular charts. Billboard is a worldwide thing. You got your country. Listen, right? I want to know why we don't ever see the numbers or, 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 um, we don't never really, cause remember back in the days, my fault if I'm if I'm rumbling because I'm trying to think of everything at once. Remember back in the days, we would have charts that told you when these albums came out, they first day numbers, they first week numbers, the first month numbers, where the numbers came from. Uh, it used to it used to be very in depth. Nowadays, it's not like that. The only thing they'll probably do is tell you the first week numbers, and after they tell you the first week numbers, that's about it. Oh, they tell you what they're projected to sell. They tell you what they expect them to sell and stuff like that. And then, mind you, y'all gotta remember, what they are expected to sell is never what, like, it's never what it's supposed to be. A lot of people think because we say Polo Capital are supposed to or expected to sell a hundred thousand records that he's going to sell a hundred thousand records that's not how it goes first week and now is how it goes he could be expected to sell a hundred thousand records but then only sell 50 60 but that's the power of social media i always speak about the power of social media it's too easy to sway people these days man you can say anything on social media if it come from shade room ball alert or one of these news whatever anybody just believe it they could literally say the sky is purple and people will go outside and look at it and see it's blue and then be like yo nah it's purple because ball alert shade room said it for real but enough with the plan right um like i said man i remember you used to have a you had to have a fire album right for a rapper especially to ever touch anywhere from top 100 to top 50 on billboard especially rap nowadays these guys got drill and trap music going number one on billboard come on come on man yeah <laughs> i don't know what's going on but something's going on there's no way there's no way the billboard consists of all drum um genres from country rock pop r&b and you mean to tell me these dudes is just beating out these country pop singers? And, and, and nah, it's no way. They're going number one with ease. At one point, the only rapper that was really featured on Billboard was Drake. Uh, I'd say Kanye. But even before, this is what I'm trying to say before that, man. It was the only person was probably Drake. And that's only because he was singing and rapping at the same time. And it was new. And you know, you got your Kanye's, you got your Eminem's. But nah, I I don't know, man. 
Y'all gotta remember Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, and people like that. They stayed in the top ten, the top five, the top twenty because that's it's music that's internationally. You see what I'm saying? This is music that is more than just rap. Rappers was never making into the top five, top ten, top twenty. We had to rely on the hip hop and R&B charts. Billboard, no, that was for the the other people. And y'all know what, who, who and what I'm talking about when I say the other people. So to see that little baby, the baby, little dirt, these guys get number one. I'm not hating at all. It's just a little weird because when you listen to their album, they're not talking about nothing. There's no emotion like how it used to be in music. Remember the Tupac Big Era? Remember eras like that? When you actually felt the music, the music was talking about something. Mind you, I'm not, listen, I'm not coming to degrade rap. I'm not talking no craziness about rap because I still listen. I got a bunch of artists I listen to. I love rap music. It's just that I'm still baffled at how these guys are going. Number one, and all they talking about is trapping, drilling, Killing, like, why isn't um anybody else going number one? If that's the case, because everybody's talking about the same thing anyway. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, man, um, I don't want to get too deep. I don't want to make it seem like I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm baffled, man. This this is taking me back because it just came out that they went number one. And like I said last week, this man brother was killed. Outside of a nightclub in Chicago And y'all remember that post that I got On my YouTube You know oh, It shows all the people that passed As this man released Projects You know what's funny It's almost like It's almost like It's an exchange for something If you really think about it It's almost like success and fame In that industry really comes with a price like, yo, in order for you to get this success, in order for you to be number one, in order for you to do this and do that, you got to give me this and you got to give me that. We don't know whether this, the sacrifice is always a person. It could be jail time because we see a lot of these guys, they got a lot of a lot of commonality when it comes to the success story. You ever listen to these rappers when they explain how they got on? They always mention, yo, I was in jail. I was in jail, I was in jail. When I came out of jail, I was focused. When I came out of jail, when I came out of jail, everything is jail and then out of nowhere, they got this instant success out of nowhere. I could go down a list of rappers that was, or was arrested or in jail, some type of way for whatever crime and they came out and got popping. I wanna know what they doing. <laughs> I need to try it, whatever it is. So it's kind of like, is it a bargain? In a sense, is it a bargain to where, yo, listen, you might not have to do this if you give me this. Look at Charlemagne. The whole situation he's going through now with the whole case that he had going on. A lot of people are alleging that maybe he traded jail time for, you know, success. And that's a whole, see, let me tell you, that's a whole nother story because I want to actually do a video on Charlemagne because Conscious X, he actually did a video on Charlemagne. I don't know if y'all too familiar with these YouTube channels, but a lot of the guys, listen, man, um, like I said, I'm going to keep it on this subject, but y'all just look into it. These guys were number one right after this man, brother, passes away. It's no coincidence, y'all, at all. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping, and I'm out.